Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be tackling the topic of optimization within calculus. Okay, what we have here is a question extracted from the November 2014 past paper. Right, so question 10 over here says, a box is made from a rectangular piece of cardboard, 100 centimeters by 40 centimeters. By cutting out the shaded areas and then folding along the dotted lines as shown in the diagram above. The first question says, express the length of L in terms of the height. Now notice this 40 centimeter side of the rectangular piece of cardboard is used to cut out both the length and the height. Notice that H plus L plus H again is equal to 40 centimeters. Now by grouping like terms, we see that 2H plus L is equal to 40 centimeters and therefore L is equal to 40 minus 2H. And this is basically the length expressed in terms of the height. Now question 2 says, hence prove that the volume of the box could be given by V equal to H bracket 50 minus H bracket 40 minus 2H. Okay, it's important to note that the volume of a rectangular prism is length times breadth times height. We've already expressed the length in terms of the height. Now we need to do the same for the breadth. Now let's again refer to the second picture. Notice that the length of 100 centimeters should be the same for the bottom length. So H plus B plus H plus B again is equal to 100 centimeters. And therefore 2H plus 2B is equal to 100 centimeters and 2b is equal to 100 minus 2h. Dividing both sides by 2 gives us b equal to 50 minus h. So substituting back into our volume formula, length times breadth times height, if we just rearrange it as height times breadth times length, then substitute our length and breadth, we get the volume as required. Right, so on to the third question here. For which value of H will the volume of the box be a maximum? Now for these maximum and minimum questions, well in this case it's maximum, all you need to do is take the derivative and make it equal to zero, then solve that variable. So in this case we're taking the derivative of the volume with respect to the height and making that equal to zero. But let's first simplify this equation we have for the volume by multiplying out. Okay, so multiply it with the brackets, then also multiply with the h. Once you have it in this form, you can now take the derivative. So here we have a trinomial or a quadratic equation. To solve h, make use of the quadratic formula and you'll find two answers. h is either equal to 8.8 or 37.86. One of these answers will give us a maximum volume and the other answer will give you a minimum volume. Since the equation of our volume represents a positive cubic function, it means the first x value will give us our maximum and the second our minimum. Therefore, 8.8 .8 is the h value that would give us a maximum. Let's try another question. Okay, this one is an extract from the 2016 February paper one. A soft drink can has a volume of 340 centimeters cubed, a height of h centimeters and a radius of r centimeters. Our first question is to express h in terms of r. Now in order to do this, we need to consider what was given to us in the beginning we have the volume of the can. Now the volume formula for a cylinder is pi radius square times height. Divide both sides of the equation by pi r square and that gives us h equal to 340 divided by pi r square. And that's what was required. Question number two. Show that the surface area of the can can be given by a r now A for area with respect to R, the radius, is equal to 2 pi R squared plus 680 times R to the power of negative 1. 
In order to do this, we first need to recall what is our surface area formula for a cylinder. Now the surface area formula for a cylinder is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times h, the height. Remember we express the height in terms of r. So let's substitute that. Okay, so we'll substitute h with the 340 over pi r square. Notice how the pi on top will cancel with the pi at the bottom. Also notice that the radius r on top cancels with one of the radii at the bottom. So you'll still be left with one more at the bottom. And therefore we have 2 times 340 which is 680 over r. Now 680 over r can be written as 680 times r to the power of negative 1. And that's what was required. And our last question here is to determine the radius of the can that will ensure that the surface area is a minimum. For these minimum value type questions, we are simply going to take the derivative and make it equal to zero, then solve that variable. So let's first take the derivative of this area formula with respect to our radius. Right, so that gives us 4 pi r minus 680 times r to the power of negative 2. Let's again rewrite the 680 as a fraction. So that would be 680 divided by r squared. Now take it over to the other side. So we have 4 pi r equal to 680 over r squared. Then cross multiply. Multiply the 4 pi r times the r squared and we get 4 pi r cubed. Then multiply the 680 by 1. Okay. Divide by the 4 pi, 680 divided by 4 is 170, so we have 170 over pi. Then we can take the cube root on both sides, and r is equal to 3.78 centimeters. And that's the radius of the can that will ensure that the surface area is a minimum. And that's all you need to know about these maximum and minimum type questions. If they ask for the maximum value or minimum value, all you need to do is take the derivative and make it equal to zero. Thanks for watching. My next video will be on rate of change. So stay tuned for that one.